hey guys so the problem that we'll be discussing today is from the recent september lunch time and the problem name is interesting representation so the difficulty level of this problem is easy medium and its prerequisites are number theory and some observation so let's now read the problem statement let us read the problem statement so given a positive integer n we have to find two positive integers a and b such that a minus b is equal to n and the number of distinct prime factors of a and b are equal so now there can exist multiple values of a and b so we have to output any one of them so these are the constraints that we have been given so n and a are a and b are very large so hence we will have to use long long int in c++ or uh, python doesn't matter but in c++ you have to use long long int to avoid overflow so now just let us see a sample case and then we will proceed to the solution approach so the sample case is let us say we have n is equal to 4 so we can have two values of a and b the uh, equal to say 8 and 4 right a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 4 so here uh, basically how many prime factors does 8 have just one which is 2 and how many does b have just one which is again 2 and it also satisfies that a minus b is equal to n right so for n is equal to 4 the answer will be 8 space 4 which is a and b so now let us proceed to the solution approach so let us try and divide this problem into two cases mainly when n is even which is the first case and the second case which is a bit difficult to see which is n is odd. So first let us discuss the case where n is even. So let us uh, so n is of the form say 2 into some number x right. Now what can be the two numbers a and b. So it's not really hard to see what a and b can be we can just write a is equal to 2 into n and b is equal to n okay so here now let us compare the number of prime factors in each of them so let us say n has number of prime factors equal to t so b has t prime factors right and how many prime factors does a have if n has t prime factors and n is an even number therefore 2 is already included in its prime factors therefore a will also have t prime factors and as we obviously know 2n minus n is equal to n so for uh, the case where n is even we can have a is equal to 2n and b is equal to n okay so now let us proceed to the second case where n is odd so for the case where n is odd, let us try and formulate the answer something like this. Let us say we have n is equal to n into p minus n into p minus 1. Okay, so if you solve this, obviously you will get the answer n. So now uh, basically what we are doing here that we are taking a and b as consecutive multiples of n right uh, so np is a and n of p minus n into p minus 1 is b so basically a and b are consecutive multiples of a now let us so uh, with trial and error you will get this observation that p is smallest odd prime which does not divide n okay P is the smallest odd prime which does not divide n so which does not divide n therefore n mod p is not equal to 0 so p is the smallest odd prime now let us try and prove this so uh, we have a is equal to n into p and we have b is equal to n into p plus 1 okay so let us try and calculate the number of prime factors in each of them sorry uh, it is uh, n into p minus 1 okay so now let us try and calculate the number of prime factors in each of them 
सो हियर लेट अस से एन हैज नंबर ऑफ प्राइम फैक्टर्स इक्वल टू टी नाउ सिंस पी डज नॉट डिवाइड एन इट हैज इट विल एड वन एक्स्ट्रा प्राइम फैक्टर बिकॉज एन इन टू पी विल बी हैज विल हैव वन एक्स्ट्रा प्राइम फैक्टर सो एन इन टू पी हैज टी प्लस वन प्राइम फैक्टर्स नाउ लेट एस सी हाउ मेनी प्राइम फैक्टर्स एन इन टू पी माइनस वन विल हैव सो ओवर हियर लेट एस से अगेन एन हैज टी प्राइम फैक्टर्स नाउ हियर इज द क्रूशल पार्ट सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ पी माइनस वन now if you observe n has all the prime factors which are lesser than p right because p is the smallest odd prime which does not divide n so n contains all the prime factors which are lesser than p so basically there will be no such prime factor so there will be no such odd prime factor in p which does not already divide n right so basically it will be t plus 1 which is the one extra over here it is 2 because since p is a odd prime therefore p minus 1 is even right therefore our answer is correct and uh, this uh, observation is proved so let us prove this by example right let us take n is equal to 15 therefore p will be equal to 7 because If we take uh, the smallest odd prime, so three it divides fifteen, five it also divides fifteen, but seven does not divide fifteen, right? Therefore, uh, p will be our seven over here. So now let us calculate the values of a and p. So a will be equal to n p, which is hundred and five, and what will b be equal to? Fifteen into p minus one, which is ninety. Now let us calculate the number of prime factors in each of them. So One zero five is nothing but three into five into seven, so three prime factors, and ninety is nothing but three into five into six, and what is six? Two into three, so three is already included. So the only extra prime factor is two. Therefore, this also has three distinct prime factors. So it is already proved that a is equal to one zero five, b is equal to ninety is the correct answer for n is equal to fifteen case. so now let us see how we can implement this so implementing this is not very tricky but uh, it requires a simple observation that you can find the smallest odd prime in at most first 20 primes so why is that because if you st uh, start multiplying the first 20 primes it will already exceed the given value of n so n is given to be less than or equal to 10 to the power 16 so if you so if you multiply the first 20 primes it will exceed this so basically the smallest prime p it has to be between the first 20 primes so what we can do during the implementation we can just hard code the first 20 primes and then we will directly get the answer right so yeah we saw the solution approach now let us directly proceed to the c++ implementation starting off with the c++ implementation so first we take input n which is the number given to us and we have to do a minus b equal to n now we first handle the case for even numbers so even numbers is nothing that a is equal to 2 into n and b is equal to n so this is the case for even numbers now let us see the case for odd numbers so here i have hard coded all the odd primes that we have and here i am just iterating the primes and checking if it divides if it does not divide n so it will be the smallest odd prime right therefore the smallest odd prime that does not divide n then we have the answer as n into x which is our a and n into x minus 1 it is our b so once we get this we will just put a break statement and this is our full solution so yeah this was the solution approach and the implementation uh, let me know if you have any doubts and thank you